Hi, my name is Doug Bass, and I'm a comedian and a professional dog walker. Oh! Uh, my name's Doug, um, or as my wife likes to refer to me as the slightly bloated version of Paul Rudd. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> once, once you're married, you'll take what you can get. <laughs> yeah. um, I actually uh, I work as a uh, professional dog walker. Do we have dog people here? Dog owners? Uh, good. Oh, good, good. Thank God. This last weekend I did a cat convention and those people just turned on me. <laughs> I've, I've walked some celebrity dogs. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I walked uh, Nick Cage's dog once. Yeah. And then he stopped paying me, but I just did it for the experience. <laughs> he had this like basset hound that would just like droop to the door. They say like sometimes dogs they got characteristics of their owners, you know. Oh, yeah. So it would just droop to the door and like look up at me when I was just there and be like, ah, ah, ah. And I realized it was actually just Nick Cage doing voices behind a curtain. Uh, it is a great way to meet girls, though. For the dogs, girls come up to me all the time. There, hi there, hi. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. You want to come home with me? Yes. Yes, I do. I mean, they don't even look at me. I mean, it's like I end up chasing after them. Hey, don't you want a guy with a theater degree that smells like dog? I walk ten dogs at a time sometimes. Ten. And it's a lot. I know. And every day, there's some lady that comes up to me and is like, Oh my God. I does all your dogs. I'm like, yeah, lady. Didn't you see me last week on Crazy Animal Hoarders? I'm like, you just watched me unload them all from the trunk of a Toyota Matrix. Does it look like in a 40 yard in this town? And this is the guy that like drives his car around the block rolling down his window and he's like, hey, who's walking who, huh? <laughs> Circles around once more. Hey, you got your hands full! <laughs> Puts it in reverse. Hey, you walk me when you're done, huh? <laughs> He's the same guy as like at your cousin's wedding, like following the hors d'oeuvre pass around. Hey, just leave that tray right here, huh? <laughs> Did you make those? I swear the second one's for my wife. <laughs> Dog walking's great, I mean, especially if you really hate working with people. <laughs> it's antisocial, though. Sometimes, like, you forget how to interact with society. I'll be sitting at a bar, someone comes up to me. Uh, excuse me, is this seat taken? Yeah, yeah, sit. Go ahead, sit. Stay. You go to grab some pretzels? No. All right, one. Good boy, yeah. I just thought, like, the last thing I feel like doing sometimes is, like, walking a stupid dog. I just, I, I have to look at them like they're $20 bills. 20, 20, 20. Sometimes I'll lose one and it's like, shit, I know I know I had $80 here. Where'd it go? Hey, hey, come back! You're recording my cell phone bill. I'm actually pretty lucky, though, because technically I have a what's considered a retired person's job. I'm 36, but in dog years, I guess I'd be dead. <laughs> Which is fine. <laughs> so dark. When you uh, become a dog person, you get dog gifts. Like, people don't know what to get you for Christmas. Like, what are you going to get Doug? He likes dogs, right? Uh, get him a Frisbee. <laughs> like, my parents got me these for Christmas. They got me these uh, Trump poop bags. Oh, they're, for, nice. they're for Republicans. <laughs> I was like, Mom, why'd you get me these? She's like, I just want you to be reminded every day at work who your president is. <laughs> I'm like, thanks, Mom. And every day I'm going to look forward to taking the president's face. Putting it into a pile of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Made in China. <laughs> yeah, when I was 13, most kids my age were hanging out, going to sports, talking about girls. And there I was, strolling the hallways in my bathrobe with a thermos full of coffee. <laughs> Just yelling at kids. Ah, quiet! Ah! Yeah, I drank coffee when I was 13. Drank it all day. Everyone knew, dude, don't talk to him. He's only on his first cup. <laughs> Yo, you go to the pep rally later? Do I look like I have any pep? <laughs> ah, I can't go. I'm, I'm busy. I'm busy. I was, I was always busy for some reason when I was 13. I was like, what the hell was I doing? <laughs> Paying bills? What was I doing? <laughs>
I was such an old man that I would walk right into the faculty lounge, hang out, and no one would notice. I'd stand there, call teachers by their first names. Hey, Andy. I was like the 35-year-old uncool version of Ferris Bueller. Life moves pretty fast. In fact, it's too fast for me. Can we slow it down? I don't know why I sounded Jewish. I was raised Catholic. 